Now Joe's just finished installing the field, so we've moved on to the perimeter of the room, and that means cutting tile. Now you can cut the tile with a wet saw, a tile breaker, or even an angle grinder, and we're going to take a look at that in a few minutes. But before we do that, we're going to need to mark the tile for the cuts. Joe, what's all involved in that? Well, there's a couple ways you can do go about marking it here. You can measure from the wall to the tile, and then you want to remove a quarter inch for your grout joint, and then you want to remove a quarter inch for the expansion gap that you need to leave around the perimeter of the room. So then when you mark your tile, you want to remove one half inch from that, that measurement. Another way to do it is to place the tile in the spot that you want it, press it up against the wall. Now the tabs have automatically given you that quarter of an inch. Simply allow for your grout joint, mark the tile, and you'll have the same mark. Okay, well that works great for a straight cut, but what about a special cut like this vent here? Well, we, got, we actually have one over here. Let's, uh, let's go over there and take a look at that piece. Okay. All right, here we're at the uh, vent cut. This is a two-angle cut. We've got one coming this way and one coming this way. Your best way to mark that out is to actually put the tile in place. I'm going to mark my spot. That's right where we want our cut to go. And then I'll remove the tile. And now I can hold it up, leave my quarter inch spot there for the, uh, the grab joint, and now I'll mark my other spot where I want the cut to go. Now we'll use our speed square to mark that out. Now because this is a uh, two angle cut, we're unable to use the tile breaker to, uh, to, to get this cut. So we'll have to use either the angle grinder or the wet saw. We can use either. Um, We'll use the, the wet saw for this cut. Let's go make that cut now. 